Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, Italy's University of Naples Federico II is working on a bartending robot that not only mixes drinks but interacts with customers. News source, CNBC, researchers at NTU Singapore have produced a prototype battery that consists of printed silver flake electrodes that generate electricity when exposed to sweat. Produced in a 2 cm by 2 cm form factor. The battery can be affixed to a flexible and sweat-absorbent textile that can be stretched and attached to wearable devices. The battery could be used to reduce electronic waste, as the battery does not contain heavy metals or toxic chemicals, with tests showing that when worn by a user on the wrist while cycling on a stationary bicycle for 30 minutes, the battery was able to generate a voltage of 4.2 volts at put power of 3.9 mW enough to power a temperature sensor device and send data continuously to a smartphone via Bluetooth. News source, Innovate, the BioT 2022 Women in the Workplace survey asked 1,010 women between 50 to 65 years old who work full or part-time if menopause symptoms were affecting their work performance and career. The results clearly show a generation of women in the workforce who are suffering in silence, doubting that their employer or workplace will support them as they shift into this natural life stage. Check out the full results here. News source, BioD, as another step towards our revolutionary vision of healthcare, we're pleased to announce that Femtech Health has acquired Nutrimedy. With its proprietary AI system that provides guidance for over 50 medical conditions, Nutrimedy empowers people through accessible nutrition support. Now part of Awesome Woman's suite of services, their robust technology and expertise will help women feel their best at every stage of life, from pregnancy to menopause and beyond. News source, PR Newswire, China's National Bureau of Statistics reported that July consumer data missed expectations. Retail sales grew 2.7% in July compared to last year much lower than the 5% growth forecasted by Reuters and down from 3.1% in June. Retail sales, catering, furniture, and construction-related categories all saw declines. Jewelry sales increased the most, with 22.1% growth yi, and online sales rose 10%. On Monday, China's central bank unexpectedly cut its key interest rate for the second time this year from 2.85% to 2.75%. News source, CNBC, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Knit podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to subscribe 